Hey there, have you ever been in the middle of doing laundry when suddenly the power goes out and the circuit breaker trips? It's a real pain, isn't it? Especially when you have no idea why it's happening. Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the most common reasons why your washing machine might be tripping the circuit breaker and what you can do to fix it. But before we get started, let me just say this. If you're not comfortable working with electrical appliances, it's always best to call in a professional. Safety should be your top priority, okay? Now, let's talk about what could be causing this annoying problem. The first and most common culprit is an electrical imbalance between the power your washing machine needs and the power it's receiving. Sounds complicated, right? But it's not. You see, when there's an electrical imbalance, it can cause a sudden spike in electrical demand, which then trips the circuit breaker as a safety measure. One reason for this imbalance could be that you're simply overloading the circuits with too many power-hungry devices running at the same time. So if you've got your washing machine running with other appliances, that's a lot of electrical demand on one circuit. The breaker can only handle so much before it trips. Another possibility for tripping the circuit breaker could be faulty components within the washing machine itself, like a failing motor or a leaky heating element. These parts can start drawing more power than they should, leading to those sudden spikes that trip the breaker. Speaking of heating elements, if yours is leaking electricity, that's a certifier way to cause a breaker trip. You can test this by unplugging your washer, removing the heating element connections, and then plugging the washer back in. If the breaker doesn't trip anymore, bingo, you've found your culprit. Wiring issues can also trip the circuit breaker sometimes. Loose connections, damaged wires, or even just old, worn-out wiring can disrupt the flow of electricity, causing those imbalances. If you suspect wiring problems, it's best to have a professional take a look, unless you're confident in your electrical skills. Now let's talk about low voltage. You'd think that low voltage would mean less power draw, right? But you are wrong. When the voltage is low, it can cause the motor to work harder and draw more current, which can then overload the circuit and trip the breaker. Another potential issue could be a faulty circuit breaker itself. Over time, breakers can wear out, and if they're not working properly, they might start tripping unnecessarily. You can test this by using a multimeter to check the breaker's voltage and current ratings. Okay, so those are some of the main reasons why your washing machine might be tripping the circuit breaker. But what should you do about it? Well, the first step is to go through a thorough troubleshooting process. Start by observing when exactly the breaker trips. Is it during the spin cycle or when the water is filling up? That can give you a clue as to where the problem might be. Next, try to isolate the issue by unplugging different components one by one and seeing if the breaker still trips. Visually inspect everything for signs of damage, water leaks, or loose connections. Test the circuit breaker with a multimeter. If it trips immediately, it could be an internal machine issue. You can test the breaker itself for faults by using a multimeter in voltage mode. Reconnect loads one by one. If the breaker trips with a specific load, that load is likely the culprit. If you've gone through all those steps and still can't pinpoint the problem, or if you're just not comfortable messing with electrical components, it's time to call in a professional electrician. They'll have the knowledge and tools to diagnose and fix the issue safely and efficiently. Now, I know what you're thinking, but what if I just want to buy a new washing machine instead of dealing with repairs? Fair enough. Sometimes, it's just not worth the hassle, especially if your washing machine is getting old. In that case, do your research, read reviews, and find a model that fits your needs and budget. But remember, even with a brand new washing machine, you'll still want to be mindful of things like circuit overloading and proper installation to avoid those dreaded breaker trips in the future. All right, that's it for this video. I hope I've shed some light on why your washing machine might be tripping the circuit breaker and what you can do about it. Remember, safety first, and don't hesitate to call in a pro if you're not comfortable tackling electrical issues yourself. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section if you have any other washing machine problems you'd like me to cover.